Now, scientists from the region are backing a campaign which argues that smoking just 15 cigarettes could eventually lead to a cancerous tumour. That's a total of 15 overall, not 15 a day. More than 3,000 people died of smoking-related cancers in the northeastern Cumbria in 2010. Even though the number of smokers in the region is falling, campaigners say too many people are still dying unnecessarily. Dan Ashby's report contains some disturbing images right from the start. We all know that smoking causes cancer, but have you ever considered just how quickly? This government advert shows a tumour growing from a cigarette to hammer home one startling statistic. By smoking just 15 cigarettes, it's possible that your genes will mutate. You may be sceptical, but our scientists say they agree. Well, what you have to remember is your body's full of stem cells that are sort of constantly replacing and repairing the lining of your lungs and your bowel and so on. So once that stem cell's picked up a spelling mistake, it's with it forever. And you know, you might have damaged it when you're 18, it's still written into their blueprint 30 years later. Jim Richardson runs a nursery in Pritta and smoked cigarettes 30 years ago before changing to cigars. Three years ago, he was diagnosed with lung cancer. Fortunately, he's in remission, but doctors thought he had just months left to live. It's not a very nice feeling being told that um, you have A, that you have cancer, and B, that you've probably got less than a year to live. The thought of going around telling my, my family that well, I'm probably going to die very soon isn't very easy. You get people that say to me, well, you know, you've got to die of something, Jim. Smoking and lung cancer is not a pleasant way to die, uh, and it will rob you of, of most of the life that you should have had. And despite years of warnings, one in five of us still smoke. We've still got a job to be done. We've got one third of smokers who think the health risks are exa exaggerated or they think, oh, it won't happen to me. The reality is it's the most dangerous thing you can do for your health. One in two long-term smokers are going to die from a smoking-related illness. Jim said he spoke out because he doesn't want children to end up on the operating table like he did. The NHS hopes that those who think they'll just risk it will on this, the World Cancer Day, consider just what's at stake. Dan Ashby, ITV News in Tyndale. The ITV News continues with the national...